Today we'll be trying to get number one in Clash Royale. Yo, what's going on guys? We have Royal Hogs Earthquake, my old main deck, and we'll actually try to get number one now. I made a video a couple days ago with Hog Earthquake and I just barely wasn't able to get number one, but hopefully this time we're able to get it. This guy actually runs a really strange deck. He has Evo Recruits with the Evo Goblin Barrel. I mean, it kind of makes sense because with the barrel you have really good double lane pressure once you get the Evo, but it does seem a little bit funny. <laughs> I feel like we should do pretty nice here because we do have delivery and log so yeah we can definitely deal with the barrels but just the evo barrel is still gonna force out so much elixir from us this could be a nice push here might get some nice damage oh he missed the fireball yo queen is on tower we just ability hey he just lost the game <laughs> he just missed the fireball man okay we can't laugh at him too much i mean it kind of makes sense that he just missed his spell because he's playing the riley barrel after all he can't believe it he doesn't know what just hit him <laughs> i don't even know what happened he's saying good luck buddy i don't think it's good luck i think it might be because you missed your fireball, but I'm not sure though. Alright, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next match. I got a nice first win, but then something disastrous happened. Oh no, you're kidding me. We have the wrong deck. We have Hog Mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of Royal Hogs Earthquake. Hopefully we can still win, but this will be pretty tough now. We're up against a COD from Minecraft. We could probably go ahead and catch it. I'll kite the Prince here. We do have to go for the Bomber as well. I think that should counter it. The Prince is kind of weird now, I feel like it still charges super fast, but luckily not quite as fast as before. No connection on the tower. Alright, so he probably has that one Goblin Giant Double Prince deck. Yeah, it definitely has to be. I don't really know how this is going to be, but I feel like we could easily get punished super hard by an Evo Goblin Giant and stuff like that, so we're going to have to be so careful to play our cards at the right times. Yeah, he does have the Evo Goblin Giant. Just gonna ice golem for this and we should be fine for now but once it gets to the evo it's gonna start spawning goblins on our mini pekkas and it could be super bad actually oh beautiful mini pekka oh i didn't even need the princess but it's okay the bomber is still healthy now so he's going to have to respond to it this should be fine pretty nice damage we kind of have to go for the mini pekka here which could be a little bit bad if he tries to get an evo goblin giant down soon but i'm hoping we can cycle back to another mini pekka pretty quickly we do have our evo bats but he can kill them pretty easily but anyways not a bad start we don't need to be up too much damage here we always have the rocket cycle with this deck so it's good to be somewhat aggressive with it in a lot of matchups but you don't have to worry too much if you're not up in damage very much in single elixir all right, I'll just ice golem here. We do have our Evo Bomber now too, which might be very nice on offense. He might try to Goblin Giant. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay, I'm just gonna mini Pekka here. The bats of his will actually die to our ice golem, and we should be fine. Yeah. Wow, really nice Evo bats for us. This could be a nice hog push here. Our mini Pekka's gonna help out for sure. I don't know if this will be two hits or not. Okay, I'm pretty sure it will be. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. And I do like going same lane as well, because we could always start rocketing the Goblin Giants if he tries to go for them in the back. But I feel like most Goblin Giant players nowadays just always go for them at the bridge. Oh, not the best Bomber. Thought he might go for some Swarm card. Okay, there's the Goblin Giant. I don't want to rocket this time. We don't have to because we're already up in damage. But if you do really need damage kind of badly, it's not a bad play to rocket a Goblin Giant. It does take out about half of its HP. Alright, just have to stack a bunch of Ice Golems. Oh, he actually has Poison. What the heck? Why does he have poison? That's kind of strange. They normally always have either fireball or arrows, I feel like. Okay, really good defense, though. We still do have a Evo Bomber at the ready, if we need it. Nah, I feel like it's not really worth it to go for it on a Dark Prince, though. It's just gonna charge too fast. We kind of have to just play our stuff on defense right now, and hope our Evo Bomber can line up on a lot of stuff. Yo, the bats! The bats! This is so good. I feel like our evos are so good in this deck. We're just making really good use of them. Wait, the poison's not even on the tower, I just realized. <laughs> this guy's not having the best day ever. Well, you know what, guys? I I'm trying to show you guys how to play Royal Hogs Earthquake today, but this deck is really fun, too. I made a video on it recently. It's very nice to play. I'm just gonna Hog Rider into this. I don't really care too much. I feel like we can probably get a connection. Oh, we actually, maybe not because of the evo zap. Unless we're lucky. Nah, not quite. Okay, just gonna Princess again. We don't really need to rush too much. I don't want to cycle two rockets. There's no way we're getting away with that, but we can probably just get one hog hit and 
a roll gate will take the rest of it. But we just have to be patient right now. I feel like it's really important to be patient in Clash Rail in general. Oh, his Dark Prince is in front. <laughs> Alright, well, we should defend this very easily. And then now, we can just make an easy hog push and there's nothing he can do about it. Just gonna Evo Bomber too if he tries to play anything. Yeah, man, way too easy. This deck is actually pretty good too. Very nice win. Soon enough, I was ranked number 8 in the world, but then I had a pretty big mess up. Alright, we got a match. We have the Royal Hogs, so I'll go for them first play. It's a pretty safe starting play unless you're in mid ladder and you think your opponent might have something like Mega Knight. If you think they have Mega Knight, just go for the Piggies split instead. But I feel like with this deck, I almost always play my Piggies all in the same lane. Unless your opponent just has way too many splash cards. Then sometimes you do have to split them. Guys, let me know in the comments section, how's your day going? My day's been great so far, I just... Went for a run, went to the gym, had some nice meals, and yeah, just enjoying enjoying myself and enjoying the company of others. I met a really nice guy at the gym recently. He's he's an older gentleman, he's already 40 years old, but he looks so young, man, <laughs> from going to the gym. And he's he's a great guy, he's really nice to me too. I told him that he should start making making Instagram reels and stuff like that and posting about his fitness journey. He's been working out for I think like eleven years at this point, which is so impressive. Just even staying consistent for that period of time. Guys, let him know in the comment section if you want this guy, his name is Bryden, if you want him to make Instagram real videos, let me know in the comment section, I'm gonna show him the comments from you guys. <laughs> I would really appreciate that if you guys could comment. Alright, this queen might get some damage here. I feel like the queen is so sneaky, it sometimes gets random damage when you don't expect. Okay, we could be in a bit of trouble unless he doesn't have his log ready. No, you're kidding me! Oh, I should have played the ice spirit, like, to the side. I guess it's not game over yet, but it's pretty terrible. Oh, this is so bad. I should have played the Ice Spirit on the side instead. But we could still win, though, for sure. We just need to hope that he overcommits a lot, I guess. Kind of have to waste the entire Archer Queen on this Ghost, which does suck pretty badly. It'll probably kill most of our Queen, too, so we're not really going to get any counter push. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, we can actually just get a nice Queen ability here on the Fisherman. I'm going to Piggies, too. We could try to use the Archer Queen's three card cycle here. Yeah, because we can't really break through with our piggies, but if we outcycle him, then we can start to sometimes get something going. But if he has his counters in cycle, we're never breaking through a ghost and fireball. Alright, we already have more piggies here. He has no ghost and no fireball. And he just wasted the RG, so this could be some damage. Oh, he already has that back, dang. <laughs> a grand total of zero damage. But I will say it's kind of nice to not face Dagger Duchess, because back when they had Dagger Duchess, they could just fireball, and then it would counter every single piggy without them having to go for anything else. Very nice queen right here, gonna kill just about everything, I think. Alright, I'll just go for more Royal Hogs here. I don't really know how we're gonna break through, but at the same time, I feel like we can defend pretty well, just sometimes in single elixir in this matchup, you might take a lot of damage if they get like a good ghost or sometimes a good RG like this guy. I'm just gonna piggies. We do have our Evo Ice Spirit, so I feel like we actually could be okay. Yeah, I think we're okay here against the RG. The delivery's also gonna wreck him, kind of. A little bit of piggies nibbles on the tower, but we're still not in a great position. But we're not looking too bad either, so we definitely have a small chance. I'll go for more piggies. Pre log two for some cycle card, hopefully. Hopefully we get at least a little bit of nibbles. Oh, zero nibbles, man. Zero total nibbles. Okay, the RG should die, actually. Yeah, beautiful. I'll piggies again. <laughs> this is really just piggies, piggies, piggies. Spam, spam, spam. But I'll take it. I feel like we're slowly catching up now. We definitely have a chance now, but we're still not in the upper hand position, I guess you could say. We do have our Evo Skeletons, which could be super nice here. You guys can see that even though Evo Skeletons and Evo Ice Spirit aren't the best cards ever, or the best Evos ever, you can see they can still get a lot of value in these types of matchups. I mean, I guess Evo Skeletons are really good, but Evo Ice Spirit is kind of just garbage. He might get a really good Fireball here. Or I guess not. I'll just Earthquake too, free damage. Should clip some of the Evo Skellies. He can't kill our Evo Skellies. And his Skeletons are level 14, so our Skeletons should actually chain on his better than his will chain on ours, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Wait, look at our skellies. You are skellies. And piggies nibbles. I don't know how the heck we're somehow winning right now, but guys, we're gonna have to defend a double or even triple RG push right now. Which is not gonna be too easy, <laughs> to say the least. Wait, he can't kill our queen though, we can just ability, and that's a dead RG. 
Wait, actually, I don't know what he's gonna do. He might RG here on this side. The right side. We'll see, though. Okay, no, he does go on the left. Uh, and he does cycle a cannon, and we have to try to get back to another one pretty quickly here. <laughs> he just fireballed nothing. Okay, well, that makes it easy on us. <laughs> he actually just fireballed the air. He fireballed Riley. Alright, well, that's a nice win. I then made my way to number 5 in the world where I encountered a very interesting opponent. We're up against a lemon. And I mean, it's true. This guy has a very citrusy reaction whenever he wins or loses for some reason. He always spam BMs his opponent, which is fine. Anyone can BM if they want to, but when I faced this guy, I think I already told you guys, but one time I faced him and he purposely did not take my tower. Like, I think my tower was in spell range for him, but he purposely just kept me in the game to waste my time for some reason. Not really sure why, because I never even faced him before at that time, so there was no reason for him to <laughs> have any ill will against me or anything. That was really strange of him to do. He always plays Graveyard, at least pretty much always. He usually has a hard counter to pretty much any deck I play, I feel like, because he always has some type of Tornado deck or Graveyard deck, usually with a building too, which is really rough, since I normally play Hog Earthquake. Piggies will definitely do a bit better here, though, compared to Hog Rider. We'll see if he has a bowler or not. If he has bowler, this could still be a bit challenging, but definitely beatable, I think. Yeah, we should be fine, though. In single elixir, we're gonna have some nice trades here. Queen might die, but it doesn't matter too, too much. Yeah, it does die to the executioner, actually. But look at all that damage. I guess he has no bowler. <laughs> really good damage. <laughs> He's already laughing. <laughs> man, these new goblin emotes are so good, man. I'm just gonna cannon like so and then delivery. The reason I like to cannon like this is because if they try to graveyard, it's gonna kill that stuff, but then it's also gonna counter the graveyard too. He is going to have to respond to our Evo Ice Spirit here because the Evo just gets so much tower damage. I think like 500 damage or not too far off of it, maybe like 400. Okay, what is he doing? We can just queen here to the side. <laughs> well played. <laughs> if he tries to freeze here, he can't hit everything. And guys, I know some people will say, oh, of course he's gonna BM you if you BM him first. Well, guys, you should you should have seen the last few games where I faced this guy. He BMs me all the time, so he kind of deserves it. A lot of the times, people don't know the full story. They don't know, like, the, the full history of me against another player. They think, like, I just randomly BM someone, even though I only do it after they BM me for some reason. <laughs> but, I'm, I mean, every once in a while, I'll BM someone for fun, but just, like, some very light emotes and usually, <laughs> usually like, nothing, nothing crazy. And I never do anything toxic, like locking someone in the game for no reason. Except like once or twice before when someone else did it to me first, then I faced them after and I got them good as well. <laughs> Look at our Evo skeletons. Bro, it's so funny how he's giving a CRL number one emote. It's always the people who never even got a chance to play in CRL in their life that give the CRL number one emote. I mean, no offense to this guy. <laughs> oh, this golden crying emote is so funny. I've been spamming it a little bit recently against the people who BM me as well. Okay. I mean, our queen is going the wrong side, but I think we should be fine here. Yeah, we're fine, because we also have our Evo Ice Spirit for this Inferno Dragon. He could try to go for a crazy freeze, so we do have to watch out. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> this guy can't help but to laugh. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the BM. <laughs> I know some people hate it, but probably some people also tell me they enjoy it for some reason. <laughs> Really good delivery here as well. The Executioner hopefully should not get on our tower. Yeah, not from that far away. Hey, <laughs> bro, this guy cannot stop spamming the CRL emote. <laughs> There's so many emotes I want to spam to this guy all at once right now that I just can't do everything. He might have just lost already. <laughs> oh, so easy. I was ranked number three in the world and I just needed one more win for top one. Man, I'm feeling kind of unbeatable right now with this deck. Let's make a deal, guys. If I win this matchup and secure the number one spot, you have to like this video and subscribe to the channel. But if I lose, dare I say it, you can dislike this video. Because, guys, I genuinely do not think I'm going to lose. Unless I make some misplay. I don't know. This deck feels so solid. Against almost anything, you can still win if you play well enough. Even though there are definitely quite a few hard counters to it. This actually might be a mirror matchup. Yeah, I think it is because look at his clan, Pig's Replay. So he's probably running the same deck. Okay, this will be a true test of our skill. Guys, I did finish number one with Royal Hogs before, but I did have the Little Prince version. Yeah, it's a mirror matchup. Yeah, so I did have the version exactly like this, but with the 
little prince over Archer Queen. Still basically the same thing, so I think I'm super, super good with this deck, but we'll see how we do here because I haven't actually played the mirror matchup in a very long time because piggies just weren't even viable until recently when Dagger Duchess fell off. We do have a good start already, but I feel like anything random can happen in this matchup. I will just go on the right side here. I don't really like going same lane too much, because I feel like if you play too much in the same lane, it just becomes more of a game of Earthquake cycle, rather than skill being involved as much. But if you go opposite lane, you actually have to try to get damage with your piggies and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. We're looking fine here. He has no Earthquake and cycle now, so if he tries to go in for piggies or anything, it's not going to do too much for him. We do have our Evo Ice Spirit here, so I'll try to go for it instead of wasting our delivery. We'll see if it does a good job or not. Okay, I feel like it won't really do a great job, actually. You know, maybe I should have just played my delivery <laughs> on second thought. I'm going to pre-Earthquake for the cannon, hopefully. Okay, he does go for the smart cannon placement, but still only a negative two trade for the free Earthquake damage, which is pretty good. The main way we have to win here is by just going for a lot of those high cannons in the opposite lane, but delivery plus log always does pretty much fully counter piggies as well, so that's always fine to do. These skeletons should not chain. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we are still winning, but just by a very slight margin, so I'm not feeling too safe right now. He can't really cannon here because of our archer queen up high, unless he goes for it low. Okay, he does go for that placement again. Man, our queen just died. But look at our piggies, they're really healthy. That's gonna be some nibbles on the cow. You guys can see, like, one of the really good things to do in this matchup is to go for piggies right when you have, like, a archer queen or a cannon still on the map, because... Like right now, with this cannon, it's going to make it so he can't go for a cannon up high. Well, I guess he can now because of the Earthquake, but... Yeah, you guys see what I mean. Like, you want to try to block their high cannons. And get, like, sort of a bit of dominance on the field, I guess you could say. We have a pretty good lead now, almost 1,000 HP, so we're going to just have to play normally. And I feel like we might be able to take the number one spot, hopefully. He is going for really good cannons, but look at our Recruit. It does damage that down pretty quickly. Oh, he missed the log on the one piggy few more nibbles to the tower. Alright, I'll just I'll just cycle the queen. Queen is really good in this matchup. Delivery obviously does counter it, but not fully, so yeah, it's nice to get the three card cycle going and everything like that. I'll cannon. I don't really want to play the piggies because I know he will try to delivery, probably. At least I would assume. Yeah, there it is. Now I'll go for the piggies because now he has no delivery in cycle. Don't really know what that earthquake is for him. He might have just lost already. Look at our 1 HP queen! Our 1 HP queen! Okay, that's really good, that's really good. Okay, we just have to be a little bit careful in case anything crazy happens. Yeah, I feel like these cannons are really good for us here. It's always a 3 for 3 trade against the Earthquake and it kind of just helps us get a nice spot in the match. Man, we're destroying this guy. <laughs> I saw this guy playing piggies a lot this season already, so I'm kind of surprised that I'm winning by so much right now. Alright, we can just go for the Log Queen ability then. That should pretty much counter the piggies, I feel like, and delivery will kill the Archer Queen of his too. I'm gonna Earthquake on his skellies. Yeah, we just need to Earthquake cycle pretty much. And also, on the left side, our stuff might get some damage too. We can log this away, and I feel like we might have it in the back. Our Evo skellies are gonna go crazy. <laughs> look, at, look at the pig swarm on the tower right now. Alright, let's go. Nice win. Let's go, we finally got number one in the world, so that means you guys have to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!